All right, so today I wanted to show you guys clip gain lines. All right, so I'm gonna do this really quickly. Uh, I just wanted to show you this one feature in Pro Tools. So if you're a Pro Tools user, stick around. Um, so basically what I wanted to show you is we are here in the edit window and we have our automation graphs for things like volume automation, mute uh, automation, which is just on or off, so it's binary. Um, and then we also have panning automation, right? So you can see here, I've used my automation graphs a lot for, especially for volume and panning. So um, that's a feature that we have here in Pro Tools. And so what I wanted to show you guys today is, I think it's a fairly new feature in Pro Tools. Um, I'm not saying it's like brand new or anything, but I know that like clip gain as a concept, I think if I'm remembering right, it was like Pro Tools 10 that they introduced it. So clip gain lines, which I'm gonna show you guys today is either from back then when they introduced clip gain or more recently. Um, and I've seen it a lot more recently, so I'm not sure exactly when they came out with it. I'm sure a quick Google search would answer it for us, but um, basically this is what I wanted to show you guys. So you might be aware of clip gain, right? So when we look at a clip here, we can see the clip gain value. And so these are at plus 12.1 decibels. And you can just click on this little fader to bring it up or down. And I'm just gonna do command Z here because this is an actual session for a client. Um, so I don't wanna change anything too much here. But um, basically we have that clip gain function and that is pre-fader, pre-plugin, I do believe. So it's gonna affect your audio levels before it goes down through that whole uh, mix window uh, signal flow. So before it goes down through the plugins, through your fader, through everything else. Um, I believe I, if I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comments below, but that's what I've been told. So, so we have clip gain, but you know, if we want to adjust two sections differently, we have to like break it out. So I just hit B to break and then we can adjust it separately. Right? So um, it doesn't allow you to have the same type of automation um, just using the clip gain function that you can get, for example, with like an automation graph here where things are going up or down um, more gradually over time instead of a sudden uh, jump at a break point. So what we have instead is we have clip gain lines. So, so what you want to do is you just go to view and then clip and then clip gain line. And that's basically, it adds an automation graph on top of your uh, clip. And this is actually a clip gain automation graph, so to speak. So you can actually work with this. So if I, I'm in the smart tool right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold command. And this is the same way that you do it when you're working with an automation graph. And I can bring down certain parts. I can just write a whole new automation onto this clip gain line. Um, so this is very similar to using a volume automation graph, except it's at a different point in the signal chain, if that makes sense. So it's just a little bit earlier in the signal chain, right? It's, it's um, affecting the actual clip before it goes through everything else. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys today is that concept of clip gain lines. So I hope it's okay. It's more of a shorty video today. If you want more of a refresher on stuff like working with automation graphs, like volume automation, panning automation, all that stuff, I will, um, I think I have videos on that. So I'm going to link them in the cards on the top of the screen for you guys if you want a refresher on that. So go ahead and check those out. Otherwise, um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And I do have a Patreon. So my Patreon patrons do get access to additional content. It's patreon.com slash noise. So please feel free to check that out. That really helps support this channel and keep it going. I appreciate all of you guys that are Patreon patrons. Um, yeah, so other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. <laughs>